Rain, Feelings, and Sleepovers, Part 2. Torrential Downpour. Now it was Pip's turn to become shocked. What do we do? Pip asked. We can't get to the Bright House in this! We'll get sick! Hitch was surprised at the fact that Pip knew this. Again, her knowledge of life and everything else sometimes still shocked him. While this wasn't too hard of a situation to puzzle together, Hitch knew that most ponies wouldn't assume this, and just book it to wherever they needed to go, getting sick in the process. If they tried to get to the Bright House in this rain, with the temperature dropping significantly, specifically 45 degrees Fahrenheit on the temperature gauge next to Hitch, they would surely catch some sort of illness. There were only two options. Either stay here in the office, no, screw that, or go to his apartment down the street. The rain was so loud, Hitch had to raise his voice. Let's go, and quick, my place is down the block. When reaching Hitch's newly built apartment, the two were absolutely soaked, as if they were fully submerged in water. The street had a very thin layer of water due to the extreme rainfall, resulting in a splash effect whenever a step was taken. Hitch quickly took out his key fob from his bag and held it up to the scanner, unlocking the main doors to his apartment. 10X Maritime Bay. The four-story apartment was owned by a company based in Zephyr Heights, and was brand new, with the newest technology. Modern furniture, big glass windows, screens on the wall to control the lighting, heat and air conditioning, and much more than one could imagine. Soft LED ambient lighting went up the length of the building in between the windows, slowly changing to different shades of blue. The key fob did its job, and the doors automatically slid open. When they reached the top floor, Hitch got his key and opened his apartment, a one-bedroom, one-bathroom unit. He let Pip walk in, and she looked at her surroundings. It was as new as it gets. Granite countertops, ceramic cabinets, stainless steel appliances, modern furniture, integrated ceiling speakers and subwoofers, ambient lighting, a huge TV, wood plank shelves holding a few stray books on law and magazines, and more decorations and furniture about the place. Pip then realized shortly after walking in that she was shivering. She turned around to Hitch, who was using a shaky hoof to turn off the air conditioning, setting it to a warm 73 degrees Fahrenheit. Sorry, I usually have it cooler in here because it's hot by the time I get back from all the glass. Um, let me show you to the bathroom if you want to warm up. I have a steam function in my shower. <sighs> Never thought I'd ever use it. Hitch mumbled the last part. Pip followed him to his bedroom. The bedroom was much like the living room and kitchen, modern and contemporary. The bed was attached to the wall to give the impression that it was floating, along with ceramic nightstands also attached to the wall. To one side of the room was Hitch's personal desk and laptop, facing the big window currently showing rain. To the other side were two doors, one showing some clothing and bags, so his wardrobe, and the other must be the bathroom. Hitch, I'm sorry for being so forward, but how in Equestria can you afford this? Hitch laughed. You'd be surprised if I told you how cheap it was. Only about 860-ish bits after all the fees. Pip's eyes widened. What? They got to the bathroom, showing a matching floating ceramic sink, a square cutout for water to drain, the faucet coming out of the mirror, a gray toilet, and a walk-in glass-paned shower that looked like it was years ahead of its time. The ceiling had soft light strips that illuminated the whole room, fading to different colors slowly to give it a calming ambience. Ceiling speakers were also here with subwoofers, just like the bedroom, living room, and kitchen. The whole bathroom itself was finished in black granite, with a little bit of white water falling around it. Go ahead, Hitch said with a shaky tone, stepping aside. Hitch, you look freezing. Pip said worryingly, moving up to the stallion. Hitch's eyes started to dart side to side as she moved to him, ears flat. What? I... what, me? I'm, I'm fine. Hitch, stop. This scared the stallion. Listen, just come with me in the shower, okay? It'll warm us both up. Um... Hitch became a mumbling mess. Hitch, I'm not kidding. Let's go. Pip's tone took a turn for the more aggressive, as if she was directing him. Isn't that weird? Two friends in a shower together? 
Pip smirked knowingly. Only if you make it weird, Sheriff. She walked past him, put her gold tiara on the sink, and continued to the shower, a small sway in her movements. All he could do was just silently follow. Hitch closed the glass door to the shower and stood behind her, watching as she inquisitively looked at the touchscreen on the shower wall. She turned back to Hitch, causing him to look away. She smiled. Something got your attention? He said nothing. Well, are you gonna turn on the shower? I have no idea what all this is. Hitch internally scolded himself and shifted past her and tapped away at the screen. The near-invisible side vents started to pour out heated steam silently, and the above shower head immediately poured out hot and soothing water in a very slow fashion. Another benefit of 10x, instant hot water. The shower head covered the entire perimeter of the shower from above, giving both ponies a full calm stream of hot water. No part of the shower floor was untouched by this. The above speakers started playing soft, instrumental classical music, barely audible, yet enough to be able to make out each instrument being played. Pip sighed and mumbled nonsense. Hitch just closed his eyes, still trying to process this. Pip looked into Hitch's assortment of shampoos, noticing her brand. You use Main Melody? Hitch's eyes opened, and he nodded. Do you mind? She asked. Hitch understood why she wanted to use the shampoo. All that rain would probably cause her hair to get all frizzy. Sure, I don't mind. She gave him the bottle, turning around. What are you doing, Pip? Hitch asked. You don't think you could help me, do you? Pip turned back around to face Hitch, smiling with a knowing look. As innocent and naive as she could get. Sure... Hitch said in an almost whisper. He squeezed a healthy amount on her and started to work around her mane, then her back, and cautiously around her legs, underbelly, and tail, trying to respect her. He then took the removable shower head on the wall and turned it on to a low setting, rinsing Pip. That was until the silence was basically shattered by six words put together to make one mind-blowing sentence. I know you like me, Hitch. Hitch immediately stopped when she said like. His stomach dropped, his heart feeling like it was beating in his throat, unable to say anything. Pip didn't say or do anything, knowingly waiting for his response. Hi, what? She softly laughed and turned around, grabbing the shower head and sitting down, rinsing the rest of herself off, looking towards the stunned pony. We all know Hitch. Really? Hitch suddenly blurted out, not realizing he basically admitted what Pip assumed, now 100% confirming her suspicions. Hitch, as a mare and an influencer, I know body language by just listening. I have to be honest, I didn't really believe that it was true, until Sunny asked me if it seemed that you liked me. I was glad I wasn't the only one. I didn't want to assume anything because of my own feelings towards you. Hold up, wait, what? Whoa, 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 wait, hold on. You... feel the same, Pip? For what felt like the millionth time today, he was stunned. All Pip did was nod. Wow. Pip suddenly shifted forward to Hitch, causing him to look back up to her eye level. Does this surprise you? Pip showed genuine concern now, ears flat and eyes full of worry. There shouldn't be any reason for him to be this shocked. I just... I, I mean... Pip, you are way out of my league. You're royalty. A princess. You have your whole life together and- And you don't? Hitch, you have a career. I just got my life sorted out and you've had yours sorted for years. I may be younger than you, but that's not the point. And don't you dare say that I'm out of your league. You are so much more than you might think, Hitch. For the first time tonight, Hitch smiled, instead of being shocked at Pip's actions. You're out of my league, Pip. Wrong. She responded, before spraying his chest with a shower head. Hey! Hitch backed away slightly. When he looked back to Pip, she was smiling, white as can be teeth showing. Her ears were down in a sexy-like fashion. Her smile was genuine, filled with pure desire and passion. This slightly faltered Hitch. 
He then became slightly alarmed when she sat up, moving towards him, their noses millimeters apart. All Hitch could do was stare frozen, awaiting Pip's next move. And boy oh boy did she make it a bold one. She shifted forward, slowly and softly meeting his lips. She closed her eyes and put a little pressure into him. He eventually let his mind go on autopilot, as his eyes closed and his head tilted slightly to the right to make their kiss more comfortable. It was only a few seconds, but when she pulled away, it felt like minutes went by. Maybe it did. All she could do was smile at him, as his mouth slightly parted, wanting to say something. She instead said the words after the kiss. Come on, let's finish up and get to the Bright House. Pip started to turn around Hitch to return the favor of helping him with the shampoo, but he stopped her. Wait, hold on, Pip. She did as she was told, and looked at the stallion. What does this make us, Pip? And then she probably gave the best answer he could realistically hope for. <laughs> what do you want it to be, Hitch? She got her answer from Hitch's sudden confidence, as he leaned back down to Pip's slightly lower height and lightly kissed her for a brief moment. I want it to be something more than friends. Classic Hitch, straight to the point. As they finished up in the shower and using towels to dry each other off, they went back into his bedroom to see the window showing the same amount of rainfall, lightning also now being present. Okay, I am not going back out there. Pip said with annoyance putting her tiara on one of Hitch's nightstands. How has it not stopped yet? I have no idea. I've never seen anything like this in Maritime Bay. Hitch was in disbelief himself. We could always just have our own little sleepover. Pip suggested, smiling at the slightly taller pony. Uh, yeah, sure. Hitch smiled with just a small tinge of embarrassment. You can take the bed. The couch is nice to look at, but not so much to lay down on. Pip snorted at this. Hitch, we are sleeping together. Wait, don't you think that's a little fast? Hitch returns to his jumbled state. Hitch, we're just sharing a bed. We're adults. It's not like anything is going to happen tonight. Well, apart from a cuddle? Hitch eventually nodded going over to the tablet on his wall, turning off all the lights in his apartment. Then he lowered the blackout blinds to the window, a boom of thunder butting in as the automated blind came to a stop at the floor. Pip made herself comfortable in the bed, getting under the covers, waiting for the stallion as he fiddled with the tablet on the wall. All she could do was smile. She was bummed that they weren't at the Bright House, but also very ecstatic that she finally got what she wanted in her life. When getting to know Hitch, she realized that he was the missing piece in her rather happy life. Hitch hesitantly came to the other side of the bed, stopping at it. Come on, Hitch. I don't bite. He slowly moved to lift the covers. That hard. That last part from Pip caused him to smile, easing his nerves just a little bit more. As he settled on his side of the large bed, he laid down shifting his body to look at the princess currently next to him. She was smiling, looking as if she was the most confident pony on the face of Equestria. She really was a vision. Her looks could practically break the rules. Every feature of her was untouchably sexy and far out of this world. Pip then shifted forwards and grabbed Hitch, snuggling into him. His whole face heated up as he didn't know where to put his own hooves. Pip took the lack of movement as an opportunity to give Hitch a little reward, moving his hooves for him to her midsection, to where her wings sat, neatly folded. At first, she almost flinched. Almost. Her wings, like any Pegasus, were quite sensitive, and an intimate place where their significant other showed affection to them. Hitch could not believe how soft they were. Sure, they looked soft, but wow were they soft. They sat there, Embracing each other, looking one another straight in the eyes. Pip smiling, and Hitch slightly at ease. Pip decided to calm him down more by simply leaning up to him and going in for another kiss. Hitch this time accepted it. As they both leaned into the kiss this time, the kiss lasted much longer than the first one. After minutes of this, they parted, breathing slightly labored, both satisfied with their situation. 
Good night, Hutch. Pip smiled, looking at her newly acquired cult friend. Good night, Pip. The sheriff responded. Both eyes closed and silence was brought into the room, apart from their calm breathing. Well, that is until Hitch suddenly broke it. Pip. Yeah? Tomorrow morning, we're gonna have to tell the others. Don't worry, I texted Zip. Hitch chuckled. Of course you did. Well, you're also going to explain tomorrow what it was that I did that gave away the fact that I had an absolute mega crush on you. This caused Pip to laugh. Okay, Mr. Investigator Hitch. Pip said, placing a kiss on his nose before settling back down, sleep coming to them both. Oh man, and that's one of the ways to do romance. I fucking love it. That's so freaking irresistible, and I just can't get enough of it. Anywho, before I start speaking more about romance, let's get on to our spicy donators. Top donators are 630, Only One Thing, Saru Orion, and Iron Sky. Darkseid, Raiden, Narwhals, Black Moon, Heart, Pastel Skies, Austin Rollins, Stu Hex, Sword Brother, and Mordred, Omicron, Library, Rune, Scythe, 1952, Will, Chris, Swinky, Rides, All, Battle, Swaffle, Shadow Moon, Luigi, 88, Chancer, Crest, Big Smoke, 369, Jesse Smith, Bobcat, GGF, and many more awesome people. Thank you all so much for watching this video and live life to the fullest.